Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm showing you how to get SZA's beautiful makeup look from her newest song. Well, it's Soja Cat's newest song called Kiss Me. I think it is such a beautiful and aesthetic video. I think all of the makeup looks are gorgeous. And let me know if you want me to recreate any of the other looks. But although this might be a more simple look, I actually love this look from the video, I think it is my favorite look from the video, but all of them, I mean, imagine SZA and Doja Cat making music. Genius. Just genius. <laughs> so, I love this look, and if you want to know how I got it, then please keep watching. Alrighty guys, so I already started. I just have on my foundation. I look very dewy and glowy. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some concealer and then we're going to set my whole face. So I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Do I have the brush? Yes. I'm going in with the brush all over my face just to set it. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and just start in on the eyebrows because I'm looking rough without my eyebrows done right now. So I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Micro Brow Pencil. Or is it? No, it's called the Brow Wiz. How do you guys like this song? A lot of people are saying that they don't really like the song. I love SZA, 100%. I love her and her music, Doja Cat. She definitely makes some bangers, music-wise. I feel like I really actually kind of do like the song. I'm not like head over heels. Like, it's not like good days, you know. Good days is it. But I definitely do like the song. SZA's brows in the video are very much like those ombre brows. So they're lighter in the front than they are at the ends. So you can go ahead and do that. Mine kind of naturally do that and I didn't fill it in too much here at the front so that is that so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start in on the eyeball alrighty so the main focus of this look is that pink all across her lid and I have this pink super shock eyeshadow that's gonna focus called slave for pink it's always been one of my favorite eyeshadow shades and I'm just gonna go ahead and go with my finger and just start packing it on my eyelid. And then I'll go with a brush to kind of like create the shape. You don't want to go too high, I noticed. So you want to keep it, I almost went a little bit too high right there. You kind of want to keep it just along the eye. Just like that. And I'm going to go in with a brush with that same shade and just kind of shape it a little bit better. And blend out the edge. This is how it's looking. I love this shade and I've been super far from the camera the whole time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller brush and just take that shade and bring it. Just slightly in the inner corner, but nothing crazy. Just like that. And now, we are going to go ahead and do this eyeliner. I am not sure if it's flowers on the eyeliner. I've been like trying to zoom up, watch the video a hundred times. I cannot tell what her eyeliner is. I'm going to try watching it one more time. Let me see. I just love how Sizz's makeup is. So, I'm just going to go ahead and try to wing the wing just like wing it you get it get it so i'm gonna take this nyx cosmetic pink eyeliner in vivid petal and i'm just gonna start i feel like it's just like little stipples stippling stippling of like a little line i could be so wrong like completely wrong
I feel like that's what it is. Her line, her eyeliner kind of goes like straight out instead of up. So, I'm just doing that same thing. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my Suva Beauty Hydra Liner in Space Panda. I'm going to go ahead and create little dots all up in those dots. Alright, so that is that on. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in back with that NYX eyeliner and kind of tone down some of the white. And it almost seems like she has a little bit of darkness on this outer corner. So I'm going to go ahead... Here's my eyeliner here it is. so with my normal black liquid liner I'm gonna go ahead and create just like a baby wing just right there to fill in that little area all right so the bronzer I'm gonna use all over my face is the NARS Laguna bronzer but for now I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit under my eye with like a very big fluffy brush just to add a little bit of depth I'm going to take a little brush and contour my nose. Her nose is actually very contoured. It seems either that or she has like a perfect button nose. So I'm just going ahead and contouring my nose to look very thin right there. And then she does kind of like that circle thing. Okay, I think I put way too much product there, but it's fine. And now I'm going to contour my lips because her lips are beautiful. Okay, so that is that so far. I'm going to go ahead and blend in my nose. Okay. And then I'm going to contour my face using that NARS Laguna bronzer. As for cheeks, she tends to have like a very natural blush a lot of the time. So her complexion's obviously a lot deeper than mine. But I'm going to use this because I feel like it kind of matches the eyes. And like this shade especially kind of has like beautiful color. I always add my blush on like that and then I go ahead and blend it in and blend it up. So before I finish up the eyeballs, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara just all over my lashes. I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise and I'm going to brush through these lashes. They're not curled or anything. I probably should have curled them, honestly, but I didn't. So underneath her eye, she has like a little, a little dot. So I'm going to go ahead and take that same Hydra liner, actually. It has like a bunch of pink in it. Can you guys see that? It has a lot of pink. I need to go in and clean it. So I'm just going to use that because it seems... Alright, so that is the dot on, and then I'm going with my sponge that has foundation on it, just to kind of color it a nude color, like I did on this side. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and finish up with the lips. I'm going to go ahead and take... I'm going to go in with brown script from... My lips look huge. Going with brown script from MAC Cosmetics. I'm going over that line. Her lips are pretty pale. And then she has like some pink. A little bit of pink. So I'm taking this Jordana lip liner. 
I'm just gonna get this inside part of my lip. Alrighty, so in order to get that like look that she has with her eyelashes, I am cut a pair of lashes and I'm just gonna put those little half lashes on my outer corner. So it's gonna look something not like that. It's gonna look like Not like that either. It's gonna look good. Okay? So the last part is my least favorite part. It is lip gloss. I absolutely hate lip gloss. I would have just left it like this. But everyone likes lip gloss. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lip gloss. This is for you guys. This is not for me. This is for you guys. It's for you. So I have just this coconut oil lip gloss. And it's clear. That was a lot. Alright, so to get that highlighted look, I'm using the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Fuego Highlighter. And I'm going to apply it on my face with a little bit of brush. A little little bit brush, a little brush so I can be a little bit more precise I'm going to apply that on the bridge of my nose and the very tip and that looks a little bit crazy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this blush by Jouer it is called Love Me it's like a little blush duo and this has like a lot more of like a fine reflect in it I'm just going to go over all of that. And that is the completed look. I think it is so beautiful. If you just want to do something a little bit creative with your makeup, this is like such a beautiful look to do. I think even the hair that she did, she wore like this beautiful pink. <sighs> She's a queen. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.